Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about something that's not only affecting just like Microsoft people in general, but gamers in general, guys. Guys, there, there is a problem in this freaking industry, man. This is terrible. If you guys don't know already, I heard the news, the rampant news spreading around the gaming industry right now. I'm going to keep this uncut because I am kind of upset as well. Um, Y'all know my stance on generally anything gaming. I don't really care for much. I don't really take things too seriously. But this is one of those things where it's affecting people's livelihoods, their bills, their jobs, their their passion, their uh, way of living. It's not just some refund. It's not a bad review or anything, which that stuff I don't care about. But this is actually something affecting real people's lives. And this is insane that my Microsoft chose, and I'm going to show this because this is my, this is the most prolific screenshot going around right now. Microsoft specifically said after the release of Hi-Fi Rush, which really won many awards, even winning, even winning awards that nobody thought they would win. Hi-Fi Rush, by the way, is a great game. I'm going to get it on PlayStation because now I have, I have to support this game. And the fact that they said this, that they were going to revamp T Tango Studios and they were going to uh, reinvent, the, you know, the whole the whole thing because of Hi-Fi Rush and its success. And then you lay then you what what now? Okay, I just as a as a person from the outside looking in because I don't own an Xbox. I just got a PC a couple months ago, but I don't own an Xbox. When these games came out, there are going to be two reasons why I will say that this kind of hurt. The community and it's not really saying hold on it's not really saying that it's the community's fault but i will put this out there that there is a stat and i am um uh putting it on the screen here there's a stat that says that xbox players when they had when the release of hi-fi rush it sold about two million copies i believe only 50 percent of players got through the first boss I will say that is probably what made them think that they could do what they just did because there's no way that you have a game that does that good and it's so well received yet 50% of your play base didn't even play it or if they did play it it was on the game pass thing that that whole thing with Microsoft just blew any chances of Hi-Fi Rush really really going further than it, like it could have went way farther with profit if they had not put it on game pass but with all that good stuff saying like I really do feel for for the devs um, and and their work that i hate when this happens because it, it happened to sony too i hate when this stuff happens because it's like these companies get so blindsided they some of these people some of these companies managers know and some of these companies managers don't care and they actually are in with sony or in with whatever or in with microsoft or whatever and sometimes these companies managers they're fine the studio shuts down but they get an extra job or something something like that but I don't know how true that is. That's just my theory. But like, all that being said, like, bro, they don't even know that they're being like they have to prepare now to like leave the studio and stuff like that because of a post. Like, it's just so sad. Um, I don't. I don't know what else to say. I mean, again, I, this is just coming from a gaming perspective. Looking at these companies act the way they act, like they are. They're just acting crazy. Like I said. Like I said before. The other things are still crazy, like the whole Stellar Blade and Helldivers 2 situation is still crazy, but not that big of a deal for, again, for me to be up in an uproar about it. Uh, it's interesting to talk, talk about, but when people's lives and, and jobs are being taken and just thrown away and, and, and stabbed in the back, it just, just, yeah, work for me for this long and, oh, you guys are doing great. Well, we're going to just cut you out now. Like don't get it it's so crazy and this is my call to action to everybody we need to start getting into indie games we need to start researching and doing and uplifting indie games even if we don't think that this game may not be good it's probably a lack of resources that's really why these companies are going to sony and going to nintendo and going to microsoft and going to these big corporations is because they don't have the resources they don't have the money they don't have the sustainability to sustain it on their own so they need something a, a bigger company to leech off of which again is fine, but I want to encourage more companies and devs to try, and we need to, we as a community need to try to buy more of these games that are not, you know, uh, 
big company published and invest into them give them feedback hey you could do this more do this better this this will make this game go crazy like some of these people just need resources they need feedback and sometimes when when these uh companies try to drop on their own they can't get the sustainability that's the problem they need a good publisher that has a lot of money and all the good stuff but i don't know man i i had really, i don't know what else to really say on this it's just one of those things that like as a gamer you should kind of want to you should feel something like the developers are, are the, the actual people that make the games are now being hurt that's that's when i step in i don't really care if me as a consumer i don't care if other consumers are hurt i just being honest i don't really care about them lying to us i don't really care about companies doing this what i do care about is companies is work labor this has nothing this really has more so to do with work labor and them working these devs to death just for them to cut them off and dispose of them as they should that's crazy these are human beings that's crazy that's all i have to say on that leave a like on this video subscribe if you're doing get on some more i guess gaming content i i, I don't even know that's that's just crazy